Check out the Otaku 0919. He's, he was Blink 1909, something like that. Please sub him. He's a great artist. I'll put the links in the description. And uh, today I'm going to teach you how to draw lightning from Final Fantasy 13. Okay? Um, sorry, I haven't uploaded in so long. But, you know, it's just that the request been overwhelming and stuff like that. It's like, oh, I don't know where to start. And, you know, basketball and all that. But, uh, anyway, when you draw lightning but don't don't be intimidated by her character i'm gonna bring it down to a cartoon version so it's a lot simpler for you to comprehend okay pause the video wherever you need to where you can get the lines and i want to warn you right now i'm going to erase her her jaw like her jawline her chin because it's too wide for me okay anyways um her hair is really straight it's like all like everything about her hair is like you know like most of it is like like real spiky straight kind of hair so usually when I draw straight lines I go ahead and I draw it lightly then I go over it hard anyways what I just drew right there which was that little you know the little bang thing whatever I recommend that you erase that now just like I just did because it doesn't look that good I erased about maybe five times trying to draw this. So if you mess up, don't worry. Go again. We're going to shade over it anyway. Like this whole paper is going to get shaded up. Okay. Yes. And uh, I erased the neck thing because I kind of need to help with that. You know, want to warn you on that. The neck, it looks kind of, see, everything looks really weird right now because I didn't really know what I was doing. It was kind of, I was going to do a full body, but I just don't got time. But uh, yeah, you know, if you got to erase, it's no, pro no problem, no problem at all. And uh, I think I erased the um, the little cloak thing that you saw me draw like a million times. And what I'm moving on to right now is <laughs> is the hair, her hair, and uh, it's kind of like twisty, I think, on the bottom. So yeah, it might take you a couple tries to kind of get the proportions on that down right. And then I'm moving on to her ears. Pause, pause, and. Uh, you know, the reference image I used was from The City of Final Fantasy. Just look up Lightning, The City of Final Fantasy art, or something like that. And it should be, uh, the reference image should be up there to help you out. Anyways, um, I erased her shoulders right then and there. I want to warn that. I want to warn you on that right now. I erased her shoulders, and, um, yeah, this is what... I started getting a little confidence in the picture when I started adding the lines and everything. I was like, man, this is coming out real good. And what I'm doing now, I just erased like a huge chunk of the drawing because I still needed to put her uh, collar, her second collar on there. It's kind of a similar style of how I did Zemnis. If you saw, check out my Zemnis drawing for like, you know, kind of more detail because really drawing Zemnis is like drawing uh, lightning in this picture. It's kind of the same concept. Matter of fact, I think, you know, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy kind of have a little thing together to in art styles, whatever. And uh, remember, the shading is going to look kind of blotchy at first, but it's your responsibility to go over it again like a painting, like layers, okay? Go over it, over it, and over it, and over again to shade up the skin. And what I did was for the for her whole face, I went across her whole face and I just smudged my finger over it. I did like I, I just used the the basis from you know the past shadings and how I shaded the other part of her face to shade the white part. You know, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, the hair is a very simple concept. I didn't I had no idea what I was doing with this. I kind of mixed Dragon Ball Z and like because her you can't follow the reference image to shade. So all I did was I kind of darkened the tones on the edges. And then I went over my pencil with my pencil, made sure I left like a white line somewhere in between there to kind of add detail. And I just, you know, just smudged it all in. And then all the parts where the lines aren't, the white lines that you see within the shading, I kind of used my eraser to kind of bring it out some more. Okay? That's my entire, that's, that's the law of Bill right there. <laughs> to shade lightning, okay? Kind of go, kind of use that to help you shade and everything. And what I did for the back of her hair is I just left kind of like little light strands, and then I shaded around the light strands black, 
and then I just went over with the blending stump. I, when I, that white tool that you see is a blending stump, and I just shade it straight over it. See that right? See right now I'm kind of getting a little lazy because you know I'm getting tired. It's getting late, and I've been working on this for a couple days. So you know, I'm now I'm kind of just you know just hurrying up, kind of rashing it. But uh, yeah, do the best you can to kind of bring keep the lines together as, as best you can when you shade. The more you keep it together, the less layers you'll have to do. Okay. And also, this song is not copyrighted. This is a remix of the Kingdom Hearts theme song. Uh, please check out the YouTube channel that created it. I'll put the uh, maker on the it's, it's, uh, in the video. <laughs> One thing that's gonna make that oh my lord! I mean, one thing that's gonna make that pop, the you know the little silver and stuff, is basically using your eraser. If you want, if you want to make things shine, you got to use your eraser. Like your eraser will kind of like bring out the outer details of everything. Okay, and like try to put put like little lines and just put so much contrast. Just you want to confuse it. Okay, the, the more you put in it best you're gonna do and if you can't draw this perfectly don't be discouraged do the best you can at all times okay and, uh, always finish my philosophy is always finish the drawing no matter how bad it looks because i was gonna throw this one out just by looking at the line art i couldn't get the collar right and everything oh this piece goes good it must be too anyway um yeah never stop keep going all right don't give up I'm just bringing out the lines, kind of just detailing it out, making it look good. And uh, I really do think this is one of my uh, top drawings. I'm getting a lot better. And, you know, it's all the subscribers that kind of bring me out, help me out and stuff. Thank you guys so much. I hope you learned something. God bless.